possibly here at Naples, came all the way from Chi Town. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what are you feeling right now? And uh, how did they, how did Northwestern back you? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm feeling just, I'm just so proud of my guys, um, the work we put in. Um, it hasn't been easy in the past, particularly when um, my first two years here with the new coaching change. And I mean, we fought all year, and I'm just so proud of the way they fought for me. They fought for, like, our dreams for our postseason. So um, proud is, like, the best word I can use right now. Um, that's just all credit to Coach Haas. Um, he's always been honest about fighting adversity and learning how to bounce back when like, everything is not necessarily going our way. And we've been doing that uh, for all year. And it's just time to show it now. Just reiterate what Rodney said. I'm really proud of the, the, the effort everybody has put in collectively. <coughs> um, and yeah, we're all, Coach said it a few times, we're all fighting for our basketball lives right now. Um, and you know, for us to, to come out and compete like that in all these four games just makes me really proud of, of the team. I mean, it definitely um, helps us out a lot. And I think it speaks towards our hard work and just sticking with it. Um, there were times where it was more empty in the years past, and we just kept grinding, grinding, getting better. And now um, Maple's behind us, and it's, it's amazing. It's, it's not a surprise at all. Coach is always on us about playing inside out, um, make, uh, trying to get the ball to the paint, have the defense sort of uh, sort of suck in, and if we have a layup, we'll take it. If not, we'll kick it out to some of our good shooters, and that's kind of been the message all year. So just uh, harping in on what Coach has been saying is going to get us to where we want to go. Oh, just so much more confident. Like he steps up and makes big buckets, as you saw today in the second half. Um, really nice game, like, like overall game. You know, threat from outside, threat from inside, threat uh, as penetrator, like penetrating defenses against um, bigger, slower guys, and even against good athletes. So, just really proud of the way he played today, and he's made huge progress throughout the season. Royce, when Dejan went down, you seemed to take over. So, what, what, what's your mind when he uh, went down? Was it just a matter of time Um, just kind of about how we're we're, on, we're a team that's on a bubble. Uh, first, I think we're, a lot of people have us since first four out, and I was saying to the team before the game, at the end of this game, whether they be out of the tournament or hopefully have a still fighting chance, and that just kind of came full circle when they were coming back in the game. And coach has always been telling us about fighting adversity, and I felt like we needed a little spark, and I wanted to be that glue guy to sort of get stuff going, and th thankfully it happened. <laughs> uh, he might be the, he just might be the funniest guy, no, not to yeah. just toot his own horn because he's right here, but uh, he's definitely been a, a, a big brother of mine since I've been here, a uh, role model, both on and off the court, just uh, a behind the scenes type of guy for this program. Uh, he's always been, uh, we have like a white team as our scout team, he's always been like the best player on the other team and just ch trying to model his game after how they would play and it just always helps us out a lot with this scout and he's just been just instrumental to our team. Thank you. Certainly uh, an important win for us on so many levels. Um, the senior night component uh, really means something to me. And for uh, Cody and Trevor, who haven't had the uh, basketball success they, they wish they had had be, uh, due to injuries. and. Uh, sometimes it's a tough deal, but for them to uh, experience senior night tonight with a great environment it was awesome. Rodney was uh, fantastic, was able to start, and so that means a lot to me. 20 wins means a lot to me. Getting our ninth conference wins means a lot to me. Uh, but the game is a, um, you know, is a. Uh, 
isolated event is a big deal. Colorado's really good. Uh, they're tough. They're well coached. They're uh, shoot the heck out of the basketball, but they can score inside too and put your defense in a lot of tough situations. And um, I thought we competed extremely hard. I thought we knew the game plan, did our best to execute the game plan, certainly not perfect. Uh, and then you had guys like Bryce and Dejan, both with injured ankles, competing, uh, acting like warriors out there. And we just found a way to do it. I actually told myself, you know, I was thinking to myself last two minutes of the game on the defensive end, we've talked our, about ourselves trying to be an elite defensive team. And it kind of myself, I said, if we are an elite defensive team, this is where we have to do it. We have to get a couple stops. And they weren't perfect, but we found ways to get it done the last two minutes. And uh, that, that really meant a lot to me. And I think it's going to be something we can uh, kind of go back to uh, when times get tough in the future. So, Coach, you only trailed 2-0 at the first basket. You were able to stave them off, and they got it down to one possession a few times. Uh, are you more proud of the sustainability that they just made sure that they didn't get over the hump? Yeah, I mean, we, we fought, and it, it, we've, we've been in a lot of games like this, and I think we can draw off past experiences. I mean, I told him at the four-minute timeout, this exact situation that, with the Utah game. You know, it's, we had a lead. It's kind of dwindling. You've got to find a way to get it done in the end, so let's repeat that kind of performance. Um, you know, the end of the first half was a, a shot to the gut, and uh, we responded really well coming out of halftime, I thought, and the, the look in the second half had no hangover from the first half. Um, you know, I think we're up 15 points and, and going up seven and really made every bad <laughs> offensive play and they made a couple plays uh, themselves. But uh, I thought that really test our, our courage and our character. And I thought that was something I was really proud of. Bryce scored the last 17 points. Um, as you were watching that unfold uh, and, and the variety of ways in which you came, what was crossing your mind about what he was doing? Um, with him, it, so many times it comes back to the idea of the word warrior, and he, he really is. And uh, it was truly questionable if he was going to play today, uh, up until uh, you know through warmups and that kind of thing. And uh, now he would have told me the whole time, "Yeah, I'm going to find a way to play." But the doctors and trainers said, <laughs> "You know, we just don't know." And uh, he is a warrior. Um, he's done it on the defensive end consistently. On the offensive end, he's taken to the rim. He's playing to his strengths, uh, and the guys are certainly relying on him. But. Uh, really proud of what he's doing as a complete basketball player, not just with the points, but those were obviously really, really big for us. So you had Dejan go down, uh, helped off the court, looked worse than it actually was, but what's going through your mind at that moment? Well, Willis Reed is a, a war oh wait, I mean Dejan <laughs> is a warrior and uh, you know, I, he was in a lot of pain and got him off. And uh, my understanding is they taped his ankle a couple different times and well, maybe ran out of tape, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe had to get Oscar's shoe to, because there's so much tape on his ankle. But uh, was able to come back out. And that was an important part. You know, they had a run and they were kind of attacking us and we were back on our heels. And for Dejan to come back in the game, I think it provided some uh, emotional emotional stability to the team that, hey, if this is going to be okay, Dejan's back. And, um, and obviously he made some plays and uh, it gave that stability to our team. It's always an emphasis to go inside uh, first. We want to be able to shoot threes. I mean, Ty had seven threes in the last game and you know, gave him the green light. But the game plan is always going to be try and attack inside first, try and break down the defense, and then find guys. But uh, we did have a lot of success. Oscar was fantastic. Dejan was good going downhill. Bryce was good around, great around the rim. Um, so while it was, it was an emphasis, I think as the game wore on, we uh, continued to grow confidence that we could, could get there. And then once we got there, finished plays as well. Yeah, one thing I take a great deal of pride in is being truthful and honest with the guys. And uh, uh, to be honest with you, I talked midway through the season. I said, if we can find a way to get to nine wins, it'll give us a, some kind of a chance. And uh, I think that's where we're at right now. But um, you know, we can sit there and watch and hope and pray for the, every bubble team that plays here on out loses every game by 100 points. Or we can try and take it in our own hands right now. And uh, we do have a goal and a dream of playing the NCAA tournament. We also understand that we, we have work to do. And um, guys are focused, and it's not something we're hiding behind. It's not something we talk about every day either. But they're aware, I'm aware. We understand uh, there's work in front of us, and uh, we're hungry, we're motivated. And we the bottom line is we need to play really well on game day now. It's not an issue of 
do we want it? Are we going to play hard? Are we going to follow the game plan? Those things, you can check those boxes right now. We're going to do those things. Um, we're going to have to have big time players uh, step up on big time situations. And if we can do that, um, March can last for a little while. And then how much of the emphasis do you put on this conference tournament coming up? A lot, but at the same time too, like we talked about, it's not about the conference tournament. It's going to be about the next game, and it's it's really staying uh, narrow-minded. The conference tournaments always play a big part, you know, whether it's bubble teams or for anybody. There's a renewed hope. There's a renewed excitement uh, with the conference tournament. The conference tournament will be a big deal to us, but we do have some work to do before that time. Can you talk about the energy that was in Naples today and what the crowd brought to the team? It was awesome. Um, the uh, Maples being full like that does provide energy. You know, that play in the first half, uh, I can't even tell you exactly how it happened, but one guy diving on the floor, next guy diving on the floor, next guy diving on the floor, uh, fighting scrap and end up getting a dunk, I believe, for Oscar. Uh, that's the kind of thing where the people that came to the game, I think, uh, are going to appreciate and understand that uh, the blue collar element of this team is real uh, and it's fun to watch and it's uh, something that everybody can be proud of. Uh, the crowd was awesome. Um, uh, everybody, there were a lot of people that really worked hard to. Um, get the word out that this was a big game, that we needed fans there, and I'm hoping that, that what they saw they can be excited about. Well, you got a chance to start Rodney, and then you got in at the very end of the game. So I, I know it was a transition when you got here, but um, what can you remember about him, or what can you recall about him, his legacy here? Yeah, when I got the job, I told Rodney, I said, I'm going to give you one year with the team. I said, this is a new staff, new coach. I, I don't know our situation moving forward, but I'll give you a year, and we'll kind of play it, play it by ear from there. And um, obviously, we kept him for four years. But not only that, he's been – the term walk-on is just a silly, silly thing to say. I mean, he is an absolute um, vital part of this program, not just the team, not just preparing our guys in practice and, um, and running the plays for the other team and, and uh, being supportive. Uh, what he's helped with in recruiting, what he's helped with with the vibe in the locker room, what he's helped with with some of the star players getting through tough times. He has been an absolute vital part uh, of this team since he's since he's arrived. Anything else, Coach? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.